welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your request and the response in the Azure App Insights. Azure App Insights are very useful in collecting all telemetric information. And this is a custom property that we are going to log into each and every request. So come, let's get started. So for the demo purpose, I'm going to create a new web app in the Azure and also the new application. So I'm on a portal. I'm going to quickly create a web application, uh, Azure App Service Web App. I'll fill up all the information that is required. So I'm providing a name LSC Log Request Response and App Insights. That's my web app name. I'll fill up the runtime as .NET Core 3.1. I'm choosing the region as East US. That's the closest for me. And I'll leave it as a free tire as this is only a demo. So the app insights can be configured under the monitoring section. So if you go to the monitoring section, by default, it is configured as yes. If you haven't done in your app insights, you can later come and add the app insights. Under review create, I reviewed everything. I'm clicking on create and the deployment has triggered. Okay, while the deployment is in progress. So using Visual Studio 2022, I've created a, a simple template version, a default version. So I've opened up that .NET Core application here. If you see, I've just added a post method just for our demo purpose. It's it's a dummy post method, which will accept an input and throws the same input as the output. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure my publishing settings. So I have uh, right clicked on the project and clicked on publish and and I'm choosing all the required things to get this application published. So once you configure that down, if you see there's something called dependency, if you click on the dependency on the plus symbol, you can configure the Azure app insights in the application. So I will click on next. I have logged into my portal login and choose the application that just we created. And I'm going to leave this as app insights and I'm going to say finish. So what this will do is this will add all the required packages and all the configuration that is required for this web application. And it will do all the configuration for us with the Azure app insights. If you go to the app settings, you can see the app insights, uh, give ID and the location. And you can also go and see under the package, the required package has been installed. And even if you go to startup, you can see the telemetric is added in line number 53. So you don't need to write any code. You, all the code has been done from the template itself. Now what we are going to do is I'm going to add a class under the middleware folder called request body logging middleware. This is a middleware. I'm going to copy paste a piece of code and I'll explain you what is this. So basically this is a middleware. What we are going to do is we are going to place this middleware in our pipeline and this will interpret all the requests. And if the request is of type post or the put, which will always have a body, we will start reading the request and put it into a property called request body. For other types of HTTP get or delete body will not be there. So we don't need to log anything. The next middleware that we need to create is the, the response body logging middleware is the next middleware that we will have to create. We have a similar piece of code where it is going to interpret the response that we are sending and it is going to stream it and record it in one of the property called response body. Don't worry about all these codings. I will give you a demo app, which is in the GitHub. Right now, we will add another class called extension for these middleware. So we are going to basically write um, extension methods two extension method for these request and response. If you see this class, basically this is an extension method of type I application builder. So I have done this extension method, which will use request body logging and response body logging. Now there are only two more pieces of work that we have to do. We have to come to the startup and put those two middlewares in the configure method. So I copy pasted these two middlewares one by one. First is the request. Second is the response. We have successfully added. Now we need to configure this in the service also. So what we will do is we will add a transient service and we will put these two into the service and that's it. These are the only coding that you need to configure your app insights login mechanism for request and response property. Now let's publish this code with whatever we have done and uh, it will be built and successfully deployed. Now after the deployment, if I go to that swagger URL of the web app that we just created and this is the one and it's loading, you will 
see a get under post method and those two methods are default method that we just have it in the default controller now how do you see this once you come to the app insights here and if i refresh with 30 minutes or one hour log you can see some requests coming in the service request right so let's click on this get call and all these get information has been received okay similarly i'm going to execute a post call i'm going to copy paste some content and change the data of the property if you see i'm changing the temperature to minus 190 and temperature to minus 20 and i'm going to put something in the summary so that you will see the difference what we are writing okay now i executed it was successfully received and it was also responded now if you go to the request you can see the request that came in the request that we just we executed and there was a get request there was a get request and if you click on the get request you can see the response body because for get there is no request so response body has been recorded in the separate property similarly let's go back and check the http post that we executed so let's click on it so this is the post method there was only one, one sample and if you click on it you can see to your right side the request and the response body was recorded see this is very useful when you log all these requests and response you know what was received and what was processed so this is how you will record your request and response body which are the custom properties of azure app insights you can record similar things in in, in the telemetrix and this is one of the way i'm going to give you the url of this coding where you will find all the codings in that github you can refer that and you can enjoy happy coding thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon